Hello, you people. Friday today, and we are making dinner in a very cold day, so we need fatty meat to feel good. What I chose today is something we are calling it in Israel asada, or you might know it as short rib. And this is the way we cut it here. Of course, I prefer the narrow ones, but this is how we get it here. Now, no day for barbecue, because outside it's windy, cold, and rainy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in the oven. But because the meat is too fatty, I'm first putting it for one hour on the highest heat. Just a bit of kosher salt on top. We put it in a very, very, very high hot oven for approximately one hour and all the fat hopefully will drip. This is what I prepared for the meat. This is high raised part and the fat will drip and I'll put some water just because the fat tends to stick to the bottom and then cleaning takes hours. So this is what I prepared. Here is the beautiful meat, some kosher salt on top. Just put it, okay, and ready to the oven. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Okay, maximum heat. A bit low, I don't want it to burn, only on the top. A bit of water for the fat not to stick, that's it. And my trick also for easy life is to have this on top, not touching with a gap, but fat tends to sprinkle the oven. I don't want that. Cleaning it is really hard. So what I'm doing is just putting it on top. Come and see. There is a gap, as you can see. And the gap, it's not touching the meat gap, but much easier for me to clean afterwards. That's it, good luck. In one hour, we'll come back and see what's with the meat. Okay, one hour later, and we take out the meat. First, we take the upper one. The meat is beautiful, three and a half kilos. Okay, and we'll move to the next step. So I'm putting the meat in a pot that is good for the oven. I'm using a deep pot because then it will be soaked in the liquid. You just need to do like a puzzle, find a way to put all the meat inside the juice. Okay. The meat has to be soaked in the liquid, otherwise it will dry. And of course, you need a pan with a lid. If not, use a foil, but it must be sealed properly for the moist to stay in the pot. What happened is that during the cooking, all the fat, you see, it's now here, it's liquid. I'll throw it away. I know I'm losing some of the taste, but too much fat. And it was really, really, really fatty piece of meat. Always taste the wine you're going to use. Always, always. Needs to be nice. I'm adding half a bottle to a bottle, it depends. Today's clients, meaning the people we eat with today, they don't like so much the taste of wine, so I'm putting only half. 
I add carrots, onions, parsley, and garlic. Now I add pepper, black pepper, quite a lot actually, it's really nice and yummy, a bit, don't forget we did put the salt before, so just a bit more, a pinch. And Silan tastes honey. It gives a nice color and sweetness because the wine makes it a bit sour and then you need the sweetness. I'm adding around a liter of water just because this pan is so big and I don't want it to be dry so I have to add water. It will cook now for three hours. I want all this moist to make the meat really tender, nice and soft. But this is why I need more water, the wine is not enough. Of course you can add more spices, proper lid. If the lid is not properly sealed, all the moist will escape. And the heat is 210 because my oven is a bit slow. I don't know why. After a while, I'll lower it to 180 degrees and it should be in for three hours. You need to turn the meat once. The meat after three hours, I turned off the oven. And let's see. good the meat is ready and I'm going to the neighbors so I put it in a nice bowl which I'll protect in a minute but I have to dry first so I'll take a nice chunk of meat Nice and soft, amazing. Bon appétit!